My name is Julia Greer, and I'm a professor of material science, mechanics, and medical engineering at Caltech. I run a research group, and what we work on is creating these new materials. We use this concept of nano architecture to make things very, very lightweight, but at the same time exceptionally strong and stiff. So usually when you take a brick or a piece of wood and you zoom in, you would see individual atoms, maybe some grains. But in our structures, you would see these beautiful lattices, an interwoven network of hollow tubes. My first involvement with KISS was um, on a study focused on Titan, which is a moon of Saturn, and it turns out it's very, very cold. I hadn't really been involved in any kind of a space-related problem before, and there it was, you know, we're sending a probe to Titan. Like, wow. And there are lakes there, and there's rain there, and there's all these processes there that I wouldn't have known about otherwise at all. And so this study combined people with such diverse expertise. It wasn't just Caltech or JPL. There were people who flew in from other universities. So it was a fantastic outlet and it was a fantastic resource for us to all get together and really talk about these problems and really learn how to speak each other's language. What KISS inspired me to do is to really start thinking about these nano lattices as a possible material for functioning at these cold temperatures. For example, at these very cold temperatures, all materials behave differently, they become brittle. So how exactly are we going to go there with a probe and probe all this chemistry, which is, you know, that, that moon is teeming with incredible organic chemistry, but how are you gonna probe it if everything is gonna break because it becomes brittle? After this study, we got a technical development follow-on proposal funded. What this KISS funding enabled us to do is to add the cryogenic testing capability to our instruments that we already had, and we wouldn't have been able to do it otherwise. And so we were able to construct the instrument, and then what we were able to study is the mechanical behavior of materials at these very cold temperatures. We're certainly working on many more space-related projects. We're able to appreciate them more, and we have a much stronger connection with JPL. KISS gave us this opportunity to brainstorm, which is something that we're not really given a chance to do very much. It really helped us just think and talk and live that problem for a little while. It takes effort to understand and, and focus to understand and to really be present. And so that's what KISS allowed us to do. It provided us with a forum and it provided us with a space so that we could really all talk and hear each other. And it was a, a, a very free, free and respectful and fun environment.